Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to go through and actually update the plugin for reference of this tutorial series and just in general for, I guess you could say general use. So that goes side like in hand with the uh, example content as well, because pretty much anytime there's an update to the plugin, there will be some form of update to the example project just to go alongside it. So currently what's on the marketplace is 7.0.2. Right now we are installed 7.0.1 and there have been some changes. So to give you for just perspective, uh, well to start, I guess you could say, let's go ahead and bring in the new plugin and just see what happens and we'll go from there. So here I have my plugins folder. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove, pretend that's the same thing as delete. And I'm gonna go find the newly downloaded plugin right here. As you can see, it's also been renamed from ultimate FPS template to ultimate FPS framework. So let's put that in there and relaunch and we'll just see what it gives us. All right, so we loaded in, everything was just fine. Go ahead and zoom in a bit. However, uh, I just already know this off the top of my head. If we head over to the ultimate FPS framework side of things and we go to the Anim blueprint, here you can see this is the one that's actually provided. Uh, we have some issues with not being able to find variable names and that's just because stuff has been changed out and improved. So for example, we have uh, some new variables for the anim graph and the anim graph has been actually tweaked to better support those changes and new procedural features. So that's not exactly the, let's go ahead and open up our actual anim VP. So that'll be the one for the mannequin, which, oh, that one, there we go. So you can see we have the same thing. So we need to actually go ahead and fix this. So we can go ahead and close down the editor. And, and this would be the case of going to GitHub. I'm gonna go there real quick. And just like before, whoops, when you actually went to that, go ahead and download the example project, you just, same thing. You can either just clone it, get the changes, or just download it as zip. It's really kind of up to you. So here I have, no, it's not that one. Where, oh, right, I put it back here. So for example, here's the new example project. Let me go ahead and open that new window. And something else has been changed. I went through and I resized the textures and removed some unneeded stuff. So for reference, the ultimate FPS folder for the content is now 373 megabytes, whereas the old one was 1.06 gigs. So a good improvement there. So anyways, I'm gonna rename this one to old just for the sake of my own keeping. Drag it to the desktop. And we're gonna drag the new one well, I guess you could say copy and paste it in. So we're replacing the example content. So now we have the new stuff with it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the editor. All right, once we're in the editor, go ahead and focus on this guy. Go ahead and open up the old anim BP. So here you see tutorial character. Here I have, oh yeah, that's right. We can go ahead and actually ditch some of this stuff. So like the go to map editor and really anything that's kind of complaining, but that really should be it. But you can see in the uh, Anim BP, we still have the exact same issue. Now that's just because we no longer have, or let me rephrase that, well, yeah, we do no longer have one setting, but it has been replaced with some other stuff and the Anim BP has been, or the Anim Graph rather, has been altered a bit. So here's where we have the, I guess you could say reference. So we head over to the example character BP, or Anim BP rather, I go to the anim graph, you can see, we'll just actually start from up here. So I don't know if there's a way to really dock these. I don't think there is. Right, so starting from the left side, we have our blend poses. Then we go into fix head offset, then the left hand grip. And here in the replacement, as you can see, we do not have the uh, fix head offset. It's no longer here. It has actually been moved down here and it has been altered. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our fixed head offset and we're gonna just completely bypass it. And we're gonna drag and move our fixed head offset down here. So we need to put it between firearm collision and aiming and set additive. So right and there like so. We'll just move these down a bit. And let's go ahead and open it up. So Actually, you can see in the big comment here, here's the old setup. It even states old logic. 
and here is the new. It is much simpler and cleaner. So we want to get this stuff over to here. So to do that, the easiest way is going to be the good old copy and paste. So I'm going to actually drag the old stuff down and I'll just comment it old logic again, like so. Go back to our new character setup and we're going to copy everything right inside and just paste it in. Waiting for something to break on me like it usually does. Now we just got to plug it in. I'm neaten this up a bit, like so. Yep, so we can go ahead and compile, and that resolves that. Next up, uh, variable name, base pose, offset rotation, and location. We can click there because it no longer exists. We can just completely get rid of that altogether. So it's just the transform modify bone and the vector and rotator. So we get rid of that, compile and save, save all. And if memory serves, we should be basically good to go. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Yep, we can still aim. Now the main thing that was changed is you can see, so basically before, the it, this goes for first person, which is basically that's the pose we're looking at right now. As you can tell, it needs to be tweaked a little bit because it's still in the head. But that's just due to our camera position. It used to bring the firearm dead to the center of our screen. And that's not something that very, looked very appealing. So granted, it looked fine in first person, but it let out some other features that could be added in. Oh yeah, that's right. And we got to do the uh, fixed spine thing. So let's do that really quick. So we head over here. And I'm graph. We should have the, yep, here's our spine. Oops. Let's go to the example and find our spine as well. Okay, so we move the spine between set additive and the set the left hand IK. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab our spine and bypass it. So it goes between set additive and set left hand IK. So we're gonna connect it right there. Save all. And now we can look up and down again. Same thing we have our old leaning. So the thing being, if we look at our example here the head actually leans with it. So that was not something that existed before. The head was basically you're in this pose. The only difference being you would bring the firearm to your head. That like right in front of your camera. That was the only thing. So this gets around that. So it actually, it's kind of hard to tell. But if I get close to this wall and I lean, my camera actually does, aside from just zooming in, it does go to the right a bit. So I'll go ahead and set that up so I can show you a little bit better. So I'm just setting the camera field of view zoom for our optic to zero so it doesn't change. And here you can see there's no field of view zoom. It's just the camera is going to the right. All right. So that's the rough idea for that. Uh, and same thing when I shoulder swap. Now when I aim, the camera instead goes to the left. So that's kind of like one of those that coincides with well between each feature to kind of really aid with it. But that's going to wrap that up. That's just an example on how you can go through and update. It's relatively straightforward. Uh, again, this is why I provide this example character along with the example blueprint. So any changes that I make, you can see them and basically carry them right over to, well, your own character. It's pretty straightforward. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video, and I'll see you in the next one.